So for today, we're going to be looking at the Halloween armor sets that we're getting this year. And honestly, I really don't know how to feel. We're going to be looking at the actual armor sets because I didn't I did want to make a review of the armor sets last week. But I again, I've been doing so much content that it's, it's kind of like overwhelming sometimes. But I have time today and we're going to be looking at the armors, the good, uh, the good wizards and the bad wizards. I forget what they're called. And then we're going to be looking at what actually won, which I'm not surprised, but also kind of like, man, I'm well, it, it's going to be weird. You guys actually might be surprised at what I actually would have chosen because it's not what you think. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the bell notification if you want to keep up with my current content. Like, comment, subscribe really does help my channel a lot. And remember, a lot of people come to my channel, they don't subscribe. So hit the hit the subscribe button. It's free. And if you guys don't like my content in the future, you, you can always unsubscribe. So I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the good wizard first. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually like it a lot. Not because I'm like a goody two shoe or anything like that, far from it. Or it's just because it's so different from what we usually get. And what I mean by that is like specifically the hunters, I think the boots is gonna go so hard with like a lot of old, like this you could you could definitely use the boots for a like a, like a night look. I think that would have been amazing. A lot of these pieces are gonna be really good for night looks. The helmet is really cool. That being said, I don't know if the hood, like the actual hat would be part of the helmet or it would have been just the hood. Me personally, I feel like they should have made the hood a part of the helmet and then have the cloak, have the the scarf with the cloak. I think that would have been a great way to do it. The arms, I think, are really cool and they're symmetrical, which is also a big dub. The chest piece, I think, is really cool as well. And the titans i think yours is really cool as well i think the arms being symmetrical is super dope i think the boots are amazing the mark is amazing the chest piece is pretty cool and i think the helmet i'm definitely not going to use a lot warlocks i think the chest piece is pretty cool i think the bond's kind of boring that's not a surprise though helmet i'm gonna be real i've never been a big fan of just wizard hats so i'm gonna be saying all of them are l's uh boots i think look really cool but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I would have liked if the hunters had gotten the the good wizard. I'm not going to say who won, but I mean, if if you're if you know hunters in Destiny 2, you guys will know that edge lords always win, which let's just get into the edge lords. So here is the evil wizards, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a fan um, specifically because we're losing a lot of cool pieces from the good wizards or the yeah the good wizard stuff so the helmet looks cool um that being said i don't think this is gonna be the same thing yeah i don't think the cloaks is or the like the hat the wizard hat is gonna be part of the helmet i think the helmet's gonna be its own thing and you're gonna be able to put in another helmet which i don't know hopefully that's not the case but it kind of looks like the cloak and the helmet or the uh, the hat is like a one piece, which is unfortunate because it, it would have been such a good opportunity to give us a hoodless cloak again. The arms are asymmetrical, which I already hate. The chest piece has, has a lot of potential. If the helmet is individual, as in it's not part of the hat, then I think the helmet is really, really cool. The boots are really, really cool. And that's pretty much it. I think my biggest gripe is the arms are asymmetrical. And I really hope the cloak and the hat are not connected and they cl the cloak is actually like its own thing with no hood. I think that would be really, really good. We would be losing the helmet with the hat. I mean, some people would be like, no, the hat, it's really cool. I'm not a big fan of wizard hat, so I'm going to say you're going to be losing it. But that's really it for me for the Hunter's Titans. The boots are pretty cool. Like boots actually are really, really cool. Arms symmetrical. You love to see it. Chest piece is really cool. Mark, really cool. Helmet, kind of whatever. Again, I'm not going to like the helmets. Just be, well, I say that, but the wizard or the warlock helmet, actually really, really cool. It's just, it just gives me like fucking wizard of Oz, Oz, wizard of Oz. Yeah. Wizard of Oz, witch vibe. And I'm not a fan of it. That being said, I think the helmet is really cool. The chest piece also really cool. We're on warlocks, by the way. Uh, yeah, chest piece is really, really cool. The butt is pretty terrifying. The arms look symmetrical. With, no, they're not. They are not symmetrical. So that's very unfortunate. But 
I definitely can use that on like a knight look specifically on your witcher armor for the chest piece you can definitely use those arms and it's going to look really really cool or you can use the boots because the boots are going to be really cool as well so I it's it's really weird because like I'm a hunter man through and through and when I saw these sets I'm like I'm probably going to like the edgelord ones just because that's my style but the more I looked at it, the more I'm like, honestly, we just have more pot or we have more possibilities with the with the good wizards because we just have so many other things we could do with those. And unfortunately, hunters, we got the edge lord one. Titans, you got the good wizards, and then warlocks, you guys ended up getting the edge lord ones. So I'm I'm kind of like I don't know how how I feel about it. Like me personally i would really appreciate it if bungie gave us all of these armor sets but one of them was like oh this one you get through the actual activity and the other one is is a paid one i feel like that would have been a better option just because you guys give us two options one of them's paid one of them's not and honestly bungie needs all of the community like uh bony brownie points right now and making two sets would have been cool because i think i think all of these sets are amazing in their own right but i do wish we had gotten the good wizard stuff for all of the classes just because again some of those pieces are amazing and they're all symmetrical which is really cool um yeah and i'm again like i'm saying like i like i said i'm not saying the evil wizard stuff is bad it's just so much untapped potential for the good wizard stuff because again the boots would have been amazing i'm um, specifically for the hunters it would have been amazing to have that for my 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 warrior look specifically like my knight look because we have the helmet for it and we have the chest piece and the arms for it and i just would have i don't know you would have looked like something out of dark souls bro so that's my thoughts on who won and the armor overall let me know what you guys think again like i said dog i i'm really sad at what we lost because again we lost a really cool cloak assuming the cloak and the hat are not connected we lost really good arms for the hunt all, all of it we lost a, a lot of good pieces for the hunters uh the titans i think we lost the boots no we it's the oh no never mind i was looking at the the good wizard stuff for the titans i think you guys lost the boots arms chest beat all of it pretty much except the helmet and then warlocks honestly i'm i'm kind of okay with you guys losing the good wizard stuff just because it doesn't look that great um but again that being said i would still have just liked the option to get it but let me know what you guys think should bungie make and instead of letting us vote should should or actually should they let us vote for which one should be eververse and which one should not be eververse that would be really cool because then the people who are actually going to get the eververse one they're going to get it and then the people who didn't want that one they could still get the other armor set and i feel like that would be so much better because we would we, it would actually give events more more meat because then we could actually farm for an armor set and then if we wanted to we can pay for it i would i would definitely get both of the armor sets because i am a fashion youtuber but it's just the option would be nice so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys there's a few things that i wanted to note first and foremost the second channel that i have is gonna have content again i haven't been posting stuff because this con this channel specifically has been eating up all of my time but i want to post uh tekken 8 content definitely want to post that not online matches more just the story and just me being dumb maybe online matches if i'm feeling it but uh, i'm more i'm way more casual with tekken than i am um with fighting games in general i'm, I'm way more casual I'm, I, I just play it because i enjoy it and more story about more than anything else but we're all i'm also playing pal world which is amazing and i definitely am laughing at the fact that pokemon and nintendo in general i just they, they fucked up dog this game's amazing so i'm gonna be posting those two games on my second channel and we're gonna be taking a few games out so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later